Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. Trying a wee black and red buzzer. Midge. Very, very effective pattern. Black and red's a great combination on the buzzers. After just the standard black, I'd say it's probably. It would be like, a, you know, something you could fish with confidence anywhere. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for them that wants to support the channel get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways you can also subscribe below hit the bell button so you get notified of the videos so I've got my hook and my vise this is a Kamazam B100 size 12 you can also use the heavier wire hook if you wish um, that will be 110. Run on some Uni AO and I've just caught on a length of black span flex just before I come off the flat spot of the hook. And I'm keeping my thread nice and tight. I'm going to stretch this. It'll double its length and you'll feel it all sort of stop and spring. It'll get feel it hard. And then I've just got to use the span flex to keep my thread wraps nice and even and come right round the bend. Maybe a wee bit more. Tab it there. And then I'm going to take some small red holographic. Just catch that in. I'll just leave the waist piece the length of the body. I'll just take my thread back up. Touch and turns. No gaps or anything, just making a nice smooth underbody. Now that's just a wee bit long to come below for it. Yeah. And the flex floss you can just if you just keep going forward, touch and turns it'll stretch the material. No same thing it'll it'll stretch twice its length. And you can cover that up nice and smooth. And then Change my threads. Black. Come in. I'll run this back to where the thorax is going to stop. Just put a wee half hitch in. I'm going to again get that flex floss nice and tight. Take a full wrap and then come up. Probably about seven wraps up the body. And as you get towards the front, you can gradually start to open them up and slightly let the tension off the flex floss. And that will help put your taper in. You get to the front, catch it off, just trim that half the length of the thorax, and then just tidy it up. Just build a wee bit of shape there while I'm up there. And now I'm going to take my red holographic and the first wrap it's a wee bit tight but then as you come up the gaps get bigger 
and I'm letting it rest against the flex floss so that wee bit so the red thread shows through. I don't know if you can see it on the camera actually, but um, the red flash of the tinsel is not in these first front four. The tinsel is only really half of the gap, nearly. So you get the flash and the the, the old red. It sort of gives a wee sort of transition. Whether it makes any difference to the fish, I don't really think so, but. It's a nice, a nice wee effect for us. So, as a flashback, I'm just going to take some medium holographic. Just tie that in on top. Make sure it's sitting. Take the thread to the front, and then I'll take some red, some orange flex floss. Fold it over my thread, nice and tight. Oops, I'm there. Put it back and just secure it. All the way along. Before you go any further, make sure it's on the bottom. No twist that are in. And you can slightly accentuate the shape of that thorax if you wish. You know, I like to throw a wee half hitch here. Just in case you bump it and everything comes flying off. Wing buds, you just pull them forward onto the top. A couple of wraps to sort of gather them. Make sure they're sitting where you want them. Okay to me. And I'll pull these tight, trim. So you get a clean cut, and I'll pull the thorax cover over. And I take three wraps over it, and we then fold it back, and then you can whip finish. and you cover up the folded piece of tinsel with the whip finish nice and tight trim away the thread trim away that tinsel and now the last thing I like to do is on these wing buds I'll uh, I'll come in and I'm using this red pen and I do about the back half with the red with the pen. Now the pen I'm using is it's an overhead projector marker. I don't know if you can see that. Right, OHP color marker. And once you put the varnish on it, it the ink actually becomes fluorescent. Um, so 
it loses a bit of its red intensity, but you get it fluoresces, which I think is a really good, a good effect. Let's see how we. So I'll just run my light coat of varnish over the body. It can be a bit heavier at the thorax because there's more thread to absorb the to absorb it. Just make sure everything's covered. Then you let it dry. You can give it another coat if you want. But uh, just to show you, I don't know if you can actually see that. Yeah. The, the fluorescence of the the red, it's quite it's quite subtle. But it does pop, you you can see it with the naked eye. Anyway, there you go. A nice wee black and red buzzer. Some folk call these like the Dennis the Menace and all that, but just a black and red buzzer. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye!